What's going on, everyone? All right, what's going on, all you OCHEM Rockstars? So what we're going to be doing today are study tips, specifically one tip, and that's going to be down here. And the question I commonly get is, Jason, what is the best way to prepare slash study for organic chemistry? And you can imagine this is probably one of the most common questions that I get. So what I have for you today is I have three tips that we're going to go over that I think are going to help you completely and totally crush your organic chemistry class and effortlessly start moving towards the top of the class. All right, you ready? You ready for the first one? Okay, let's check this out. Study tip number one. What I want you to do is I want you to look over skim or skim your current chapter, okay? Now, what do I mean by that? What I want you to do is I want you to look at the bold headings, okay? So it might say like what your function group is. It might talk about reactions. It might talk about mechanisms, whatever that is. I want you to look at those. Then what I want you to do is look at all the images that are below, okay? Because I want you to make an association with what's the basic idea, the kind of the big picture, and then what does it quote unquote look like in terms of the reaction, the mechanism. What this is going to help you do is start to learn a lot of information in a short amount of time. Now, I want to let you know I'm not advocating, I'm telling you not to read your textbook. That's not what I'm saying. But what I want you to do is get familiar with organic chemistry before you start getting all the details. Because one thing I found with students is that they get overwhelmed because they're learning all these words and phrases that absolutely make no sense and no way to relate to their life. Maybe you, maybe you can relate to that. And so what this allows you to do is find just like, okay, here's what the heading says. Here's what it actually looks like, and this is how we're going to quote unquote do organic chemistry. So then, once you go back and say, okay, how is this working? What are the fine details? You can always fill those in. But when you have a big picture to start out with, it makes it so much simpler to learn, all right? So that's gonna be number one. Number two, what I want you to do is mark, highlight, what you understand. I don't want you to mark and highlight what you don't understand. I want you to mark and highlight what you understand. Why? Because I think you'd agree that organic chemistry does not have a great reputation, right? Nobody says, oh my gosh, you're taking organic chemistry. That is so awesome. You're going to do well. Don't worry about it. You can go spend all this time doing all the stuff you want to do, right? It's the exact opposite of that, what everybody says, right? So it doesn't have a good reputation. So what we want to start doing is get the positivity flowing as early as possible. So what I want you to do is I want you to go through once you've kind of skimmed your chapter, once you've maybe gone to a couple lectures or maybe even before, maybe you're getting ready to start and you feel comfortable with some stuff, I want you to mark and highlight that because I want you to start to make the association of the things that you do understand in this class and then you can build upon those as you go through rather than focusing on all the negative stuff, right? Because we can find plenty of negative stuff. We can talk to people, find out. We can find it on the internet. We can find it in books. It's everywhere, but I want you focusing on the positive, all right? So that's number two. Now, number three, what I want you to do is I want you to pick something that you don't understand and I want you to write it on a note card, okay? You can write it on a note card, or you can write it on a sticky note, you can write it on something, but I want you to write it, physically write it down and I want you to keep it with you. Now, the reason I want you to do this is because what you're gonna do is when you have like a few minutes walking between classes or you have maybe you're gonna get ready to waiting for an elevator, I want you to take that and look at it, right? If you're waiting for a friend, look at it. If you're getting ready to ride the bus, take it. If you're on the bus, ride, take it. We'll go ahead and look at it. I want you to start doing this periodically throughout the week. And what you're going to find out as you get towards the end of the week, before you actually get ready to look at that, you're going to be like, oh my gosh, I already know what it is. So you're going to find out that you're going to incorporate this study. And as you're doing your everyday thing, you don't have to take extra time out to study. And you're going to find as the week goes on, you're going to remember more and more. And then what you'll be able to do is you can see where this is going. You can maybe have a few note cards the next week, or maybe you have more information on the same note card. And what you're going to find out you can do is you can start studying throughout your day and you don't have to spend this extra time doing it. And it's going to make it much easier when you actually sit down and study by yourself with your friends, whatever that is. All right. So those are probably the three best tips that I can give you, but check this out. I have a bonus tip. Okay. This by far, I think is the most important thing. Okay. I think this is probably the most important tip that I think I could give anybody and that I've given over the years. Okay. What I want you to do is I want you to take time for yourself and I want you to celebrate. Okay. Now let me explain. What do I mean by this? Let's say, for example, um, you've done something today that essentially maybe you're like, gosh, that's not a big deal, but you did it. I want you to celebrate that. Let me give you some examples. Okay. Maybe here's one that is a big one. So maybe, for example, you had to give a presentation in front of your class and maybe you hate giving presentations. You just don't want to do it at all, but you did it. And maybe you're thinking to yourself, I did it and it didn't go that well. It doesn't matter. Celebrate that. All right. Let's say you learned something new today that doesn't seem like a big deal. Celebrate it. I am all about celebrating the small victories. And like I said, with this class specifically, you can do this with any class, of course, but this class specifically just for the fact that it has such a terrible reputation. We want to increase the positivity. We want to spend as much time in a positive frame of mind as possible. So I want you celebrating every single thing you do outside of the class. And I want you specifically to celebrate the victories that you get inside of this class. All right. 